This is a very innovative building, uh, which will house uh, the biomedical research community uh, to support solutions for our patients. Uh, it will house biomedical scientists in basically largely in cancer research, but also in musculoskeletal research, neurology, and other disciplines. Discovery research is essential, so we, so we have ideas and solutions to translate into patient care, so this will help address the future unmet needs of our patients. So in the past, research buildings were built with rigid walls, things were attached to the walls, they were pretty much immovable unless you had to really remodel. But science is a dynamic field, investigators need, need, are, need to be dynamic, so this was built so it could be adjusted and modulated according to the needs of the investigator. This is really exciting <laughs> because um, every time Mayo builds a new building, it opens up a new chapter, a new capability uh, that has profound implications now and in the future. This is a multi-generational building. And so Mayo will really be able to make an impact um, in the Midwest with his research endeavors and probably nationally and internationally. Well, nothing drops from the sky, unfortunately. And so it always takes um, science, people, looking at cells, tissues, um, blood, pro blood specimens and other specimens from humans to study them, assess them, what causes disease, how does it begin, what propagates the disease, um, are there pathogens involved, and then based on that understanding of the cell and molecular biology of the disease, we can look for targeted therapies and then we can develop those and translate those targeted therapies in the treatment of humans. But without that first discovery phase, then there's nothing to translate.